another video if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video and join the family if you are returning I would like to thank you for returning to my channel you guys are here today to listen to my Q&A I asked you guys on Instagram Twitter and my Facebook as well for questions that you guys want to know the answers to they could have been anything anything literally anything like hair makeup my personal business so um, let's get into it Okay, so as I said, I asked you guys multiple I asked you guys to ask me questions on my social media platforms and I wrote a few of them down. Of course I couldn't get to all of them, um, but I did get a few, a good little amount here in the Wow, why would my screen be this dirty? <laughs> but since it's a QA, it's a chill video, um, and we're stuck inside, so I've been doing what everyone else has been doing. I've been drinking. Have me a little, a little drink, a little drink. I got my snack. Got my Easter candy because the Easter candy is on sale, and I didn't have an Easter basket this year. Usually, I go home for Easter, but I couldn't go home because of the pandemic, so I was here alone for Easter. Me and Diesel. So I got the snacks on sale afterwards. The candy. So um, I guess just let's get right into this video. Into the video. The Q and A. And I have my makeup on. I get cute to go to the living room. I'm not, I don't be dressed, but I do my makeup because as if you guys don't know, in my last video, um, I reviewed the Morphe palette. I said I was going to come out of this and I had to do eyeshadow. So that's what I'm going to do. I've been practicing my eyeshadow. Okay. I'm, that's off subject, but here we go. <sighs> Why does everyone always want to know this? Um, my relationship status, am I single or taken? I'm single. I've been single for a long time. When I say a long time, a long time. Am I looking? No, I'm not. If it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. This actually tastes funny because I just brushed my teeth. But anyway, so yeah, single, single as a loose dollar bill. That's me. What have I been doing? What have I been doing during this quarantine? Um, as I said, I've been doing my makeup. I've been drinking. Um, I've been FaceTiming my family a lot. Like I feel like I've talked to them way more than I usually would. Well, not my mom. We talk a lot. And my sister as well. But um, I have a brother that lives in Texas. Um, we don't talk as often, but I actually was on the phone with him Saturday for like a couple hours. And we were all on like group FaceTime with the kids and everything. I don't have kids, but I am an auntie. As you guys know, I'm the auntie. The auntie. But um yeah that's what i've been doing i've been watching a lot of tv um i did a video about things to watch during this time um of course there's more things to watch now but watching a lot of tv i haven't really doing too much nothing i go to the grocery store <laughs> but at first i was going to the grocery store a lot but i kind of slowed it down a little bit now i've been when i need to go to the store i need things to order i'm trying to get everything at one time because i'm trying to avoid the grocery store because i feel like that's probably where a lot of people is getting it from like just because they bored they just going to walmart just because I stayed the hell up out of Walmart. That's one thing for sure. But that's another topic. Um, but yeah. That's what I've been doing. I don't have anything else to do. Walk my dog. But. Okay. Next question is. As I got my chip in my hand. Did I have to smack it like that? No potato chips. It's Loud Black Girls Podcast. Coming back. I feel like my eyelash is coming off. I think, it might be, I think I can make it through the video. Um, it's Loud Black Girls Podcast coming back. For you all that don't know, um, I was a part of a podcast with some other young ladies. It was four of us. My name was Loud Black Girls. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I can't give you an answer to that. Would I like for them to come back? Absolutely. I had so much fun. It was a great time. Um... Everyone lies. We're, we're all over the place. We're all in different places of the world. We're busy. But if it was my decision, we'd be back. So fingers crossed. Pray for us. We might, something, you never know. 
this quarantine might help us out. Um, where do I see myself in the next five years? Oh, next five years, I'll be 32. Wow, that's crazy. Um, where do I see myself in the next five years? I don't know where I'll be living. Most likely I'll still be here in Atlanta. Um, I see myself more doing what I'm doing now, but as far as I want to be, of course, I want to be more successful. That's a given, but a goal that I have of mine for the next five years, I would like to buy like my first property or something like that. Like that's what I'm, that's, that's something I'm working towards. I want to do stuff like that. I want to, I want to give me a property like, so yeah, that's the goal of mine for the next five years. <laughs> These questions is a little, I don't know. Would I date someone shorter than me? Um, I don't know how tall you guys think I am or how short you think I am from my Instagram and social media, but um, I'm 5'5". Five five. I may seem a little taller, but I'm 5'5". Five five. When I date someone shorter than me, if you're shorter than me, you're pretty short. You're pretty short. Um, I wouldn't say that I wouldn't, and I wouldn't say that I would. It just all depends. If you're short, you gotta come with it, baby. You gotta be very confident. I don't need the little man syndrome, okay? I got a little dog, he got a little people syndrome. I don't need a man with that. So, you gotta come with it. Um, they can't be too much shorter than me. They gotta be like, like here, they can't be like, if you right here, that's just, you're really little. Sorry, but. Um, am I attracted to guys outside of my race? What's funny is I just had a conversation about this today in a group message. Let's not say attracted. Um, cause it, well, we can say attracted cause I definitely think it's some guys that's white or, let's say Caucasian. Um, no, I see some white guys, some Mexican guys. I see all kind of guys. I'm like, damn, he kind of cute. So yes, I would say I'm attracted to them. Have I ever dated them? No. Would I date them? Who knows? If as I said, you sure you gotta come with it? You gotta at this point in my life, I'm not really looking at race. Cause you niggas be fucking up. So I'm open. Let's say that. I really want my lip gloss. Is my lip gloss still popping? I think I can use a little more. I'll be back. I'm back. Got my lip gloss. Okay. So Why do I need lip gloss I'm in the house? I don't know. We're all doing unnecessary things at this point, like eating. That's what I've been doing through this quarantine. I've been eating. I'm trying not to come out here on my 600 pound life. Um, do I have any matching tattoos with anyone? Yes, I do. Actually, that's so funny that you asked that. I do. I have matching tattoos with a few of my line sisters. And today is my... Sigma anniversary. I've been in this thing for six years. Um, yeah, I do. I have a, I have a matching tattoo. It's on my back, right here. We we don't have them all in the same places, but it's all the same tattoo. So yes, I do. What is your favorite hairstyle and your favorite hair color? Um, for myself. I don't think I have a favorite hairstyle because I love braids, I love wigs, I love, yeah, braids and wigs, that's pretty much it. Um, what will be my favorite hairstyle? Hairstyle is like, I wouldn't say it's my favorite hairstyle, but it's my go-to hairstyle. I would say it's a lace front, middle part, side part, something like that, something basic. And I like straight hair. I'm not really too big on curly hair. So I would say my go-to is a middle part black down my back. Go to you can't like you can't go wrong with that. Who doesn't look right with a middle part black? Everyone looks right with that hairstyle. Like literally everyone I know. And my favorite hair color, if I must say so myself, I've done multiple hair colors. I've done. I had. I've had blue hair. I had pink hair. I had. Or, I had. I've had orange hair. I've never done the green, the yellow, the purple. Um, that's something that I was trying to do, but we stuck inside. 
And um, yeah, so if I had to choose out of all the colors I've had, I would say blonde is my favorite. And I've always said um, when I worked in an office, if I didn't work in an office, I don't anymore. But um, I will, I, if I could wear blonde hair every day, I would. And why does I got a side ponytail now? Um, if I could wear blonde hair every day, I would. So I actually love these braids. At first, I wasn't really feeling them, but I like them. And I think I'm actually going to wrap them. Okay, next question is, how long have I been making wigs and doing hair? I've been doing hair since high school. Not saying that I was the best at it, <laughs> so I definitely wasn't. Um, in high school, I used to do like the girls' quick weaves. Like I would do something like that. Once I learned how to do a glue in, baby, I was the girl. I was gluing it in. I was doing bobs. I really, <laughs> I don't know about the bobs, but bobs are actually not that hard. It's actually harder to do it yourself than someone else. But um, yeah, I've been doing hair since high school. Making wigs. I started making wigs. Um, when did I start making wigs? I would like to say I started making wigs like my freshman year in college, maybe like on that break. Because that's like when bundles became like really popular. So I wanted to make a wig because I wanted my hair to last longer. And I, that's when I used to make the U part wigs and stuff like that. And I used to have the leave out and I burned my leave out out like everyone else. Leave out became this big, burnt it out. But um, yeah, I've been making wigs since. I want to say my freshman, going into my sophomore year in college, maybe that summer is when I made my first U part wig, I would say. I've been making them ever since. Ever since I started making wigs, I have not went back to a sew-in. So imagine how long it's been since I had a sew-in. And I used to do my sew-ins myself as well, because I don't like people in my head like that. But yeah, now I'm a lace front girl. I do a closure too, but. And. Who are my favorite YouTubers? Is there anyone that I would like to collaborate with? Um, my favorite YouTubers. Who do I watch all the time? I watch a little bit of everyone. I will say that. I watch a little bit of everyone. Like I watch, of course, like De'Ara and Ken. I love them and their relationship. They're super cute. Um, I watch Queen. I, well, I, let me not say I watch Queen because I really don't watch Queen videos now, but I definitely used to watch her videos all the time. She seems like a great person. Um, but my favorite is actually, I don't know if I have a favorite, but I do have someone that if I could hang out with or something like that, I would say um, Aaliyah J actually. She seemed pretty cool. Queen too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I have to think about that a little more. I don't know. But I will hang out with a few people. A lot of people seem like they're mad cool. It's also a YouTube couple that I mess with that I like. Well, not say I mess with, but um, that I like. They live in Chattanooga. I've been watching for a long time. Lily and Grams, they seem mad cool. I would definitely hang out with Lily. And I would actually kind of say that they're, they might be my favorite couple on YouTube because they mad funny. They funny on Instagram. They're like very, um, they're humble. They're like, they're mad humble. And I like that. So um, yeah, Lily and Grams. I don't know if y'all follow them, but go check out their channel too. And <laughs> my best quickie. I don't know what even made me put this in here, but um, I don't have a best quickie because I'm single and I've been single for a long time. And I'm not sexually active, so... There's that question. Okay, um, I got interrupted, but I have about two or three more that I'm going to do with you guys. Um, they're kind of basic, but I wanted to add them in there. Do I want kids? Do I want kids? As simple as that may sound, that's a hard question because let's just say this. If I end up if I end up having a kid, you gotta be a special 
a very special person for me to have kids with to carry your child. So, but at this point, today, right now, the answer is no. The answer is actually hell no. As I said, I'm the auntie. Um, what is my favorite movie? Mm. Higher Learning. Favorite movie. Love that movie. Know all the words. That's my shit. That's one of my favorite movies. Like that's like that's up there. And my last one is who is my favorite singer or rapper? So I can break that down and do both, singer and rapper. My favorite singer, mm, I really don't know who's my favorite singer. Um, of course, everybody love Rihanna, Beyonce, blah, blah, But like when I say singer, I mean like who can sing, like vocalist, like who I love. It, it changes over time, but fuck with Tamar that's my girl when I say Tamar is my girl Tamar can sing like she can sing in her albums I, I listen to Tamar all the time um so I would say Tamar is my favorite singer Tamar Braxton she got pipes after Tamar is Monica though Tamar Monica um my favorite rapper um I'm not gonna do it all the time but my favorite rapper right now who is my favorite rapper my favorite rapper right now is Roddy Rich. That's my dude. I love him. Fuck with him. Out of right now, out of all the people that's out right now, um, I would say Roddy Rich is my favorite rapper. Like his CD, that's like one of the best CDs I heard in a while. Like his CD, I literally let it play from top to bottom. Top to bottom. When I play it, I just start it from the beginning and I just let it ride. Or I shuffle it. It don't matter. However I want to play it, it's riding, it's bumping, it's good. Um, I really can't listen to a lot of rap music right now because we're stuck inside. So I've been on the R&B note. Um, but um, as far as new people for singers, I would definitely say my favorite singer right now is Ari Lennox. Anybody know me? That's my girl. I'm riding for her. I'm defending her in the comments against anybody. That's my girl. She can write. Like, her music is like feel good music. It's so like, I love it. You have listened to Shea Butter Baby. Go listen to Shea Butter Baby. And that's just what it is. Um, and she's mad funny. So, I love her. That is my last question for my Q and my quarantine Q&A. Um, I would name it because we're stuck inside. Um, yeah, so I would like to thank you all for watching this video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at I am Ariel Monique. Follow me on Twitter at I am Ariel Monique. I really don't use Snapchat, so you don't have to add me there. But add me on Instagram and Twitter. Um... And yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend and share this, subscribe, tweet it, everything. And I appreciate y'all and I'll see y'all in the next video.